Hey guys, Mike here with the Legal Eagle uh, project they got going here. Uh, I thought I'd just show you how I laid it out. There's uh, lots of ways to lay it out, I suppose. Pencil and some people use wire and string and whatnot. I like using a chalk line. I use blue chalk, and uh, the reason why I do that is because it doesn't stain your clothes. If you use the red, it doesn't want to come out of clothes, so the blue is pretty much the ideal powder. Um, first place. I snapped the line was right down the center. I don't care about the edges. Don't even think about that. Find the center over here. Find the center on the other end. Okay. And you're going to square off this line. Don't worry about the edges of the plywood. And here, I threw a nail. I went one inch in because I knew there's a tail post going here. And I don't want to play with the edges. I want to use my string and square everything from the string. Then I hook my chalk line on here and go all the way down and I throw a center line. So all I care about is that center. Nice and tight. Pinch it down here when it's tight. Snap a line. Before you snap it, I pulled the string to the side and I snapped it in the air. That gets a lot of the extra chalk off the string. And that way it doesn't get all over the table because there's enough chalk on that string left over. So you want to shake some of that chalk out by snapping it in the air. Okay. When it's all done, I took clear coat and I do this on, I'm a contractor so I on job sites you get used to doing this stuff so when you snap concrete you throw a clear coat on it and then the line doesn't come off so I did the same thing on the plywood and it works really well so the, once the line's on and you throw one line of clear coat across the top she's good to go from there I just sort of built the box I squared everything off right from that center line everything is based on that center for my angles, you can see in the tail post, it, gets, it goes down to zero or nothing. And it comes up to this station where then the angle changes and it goes square. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Once, once you do that, everything gets pulled off this nail. So as we walk down, I pull from this nail, this line 90 degrees, next one 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Once I have that, I go right from the point to point, and I just follow the print. Okay, that's all she wrote. 